Apostle Sharpley said that there has been a rapid increase in charismatic churches in the country over the years. He stresses that most of these church owners use the name of Christ to enrich themselves and manipulate the vulnerability of people and communities they operate in. He adds that some of these churches pose a threat and danger to society. And people's psychology as spiritual matters mostly deal with ideology and the understanding of life. Manipulating the vulnerability and the gullibility of people is definitely something that is very worrisome to all of us. And I'm sure it would even be more worrisome uh, to governments because governments are there to protect the society that they are governing. And more so in democratic systems as robust as ours where the government has been elected by the people. You would expect government to then uh, actually begin to question some of the activities. And it's a pity that it has to be focused on emptying of people's pockets or it's for monetary gain instead of actually advancing morality. The Apostle says it's time that churches look at the role they play in society. The church now has to redefine its role. Mm -hmm. And we've been saying this since freedom came. And, and I believe that the Council of Churches in Namibia has now got to also see how it embraces and brings in charismatic Pentecostal churches because the Council of Churches has been representing mainstream churches, Protestant churches, Catholic church, uh, Methodist church, Lutheran church. They have to see how to also embrace, and, and I believe they have been doing this. Uh, but the Council of Churches would need to, to help government as the body, as the umbrella, to address mm -hmm. any uh, uh, atrocious behavior by any church in Namibia. Mm -hmm. He wants members of the public to stay away from manipulative charismatic churches. Chilana Fuka, NBC News, Ventuk.